guys, this video is really just me having fun with Unreal Engine 5 and Unreal Engine 4 open at the same time and the world famous Birch Forest from Mavi. Um, so it, I've never seen my computer that crazy. Uh, so let me turn the Nanite visualization there so that you can see I tried to convert it as much as possible and we can also fly into the forest to see what we can there. Um, so I have an RTX 3090 and this is like a 24 core Threadripper processor and I've never seen my computer struggling <laughs> that much. So that's really crazy. Um, so right now it's, it's going, everything goes very, very smoothly. Yeah, but it took like hours. I'm, I have no idea. I made like 20 flight overs through this level um, before. Ah, and you can also see here some of this birch also with this triangle. So let's back, get back here. Let's fly with Unreal Engine 4 also into the forest. Um, yeah, well, it, it, it's incredible. So now everything goes very smoothly. And um, and while flying through this forest, um, the levels, um, you know, what does it do? It so completes all the, the materials. They, so they don't, they're not loading from the very beginning. Let me turn on the camera speed a little, sorry. I usually use the middle, uh, the mouse wheel um, to change the camera speed, but that was not enough. So I'm in the cinematic viewport on both Unreal Engine 4 and 5. Um, and it's interesting, the differences is, is interesting. So I know it's not a fair comparison, right? So especially, so it's not everything ready in Unreal Engine in 5 and not everything like um, optimized, um, but it, it also like the lighting is so much different. So also it's hard where I'm right now in this level. Yeah, but let me find a spot which can be maybe a little similar, but the, the difference you see, yeah, it's, it's really that much of a difference. It's really, for, for this level, it's, it's crazy. So let me see. Okay, here I'm outside at the water. Let me get back in. And you can see here spots like this as when I get closer. it starts completing the materials. So by the way, my, my background is not like game development or building levels like this. Yeah, so this is what I did like the last two hours, like throwing th flying through the forest and waiting that the materials are building. Ah, oh, what's this? Let me go back. Why is this still not applying the material? So interesting. So, so there are these parts. So I, I had to change all the meshes. Um, I had to enable Nanite on all these meshes. Of course, Lumen is activated, but you can see here, it's completing the materials here. It just takes some time, but come on, how much of a difference these two, these two forests? Yeah, let me go closer to some leaves here. Yeah, I didn't expect this, that the, this forest looks so much better in Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, so much more realistic. So it's incredible level already also in Unreal Engine 4. So in, in nearly all my videos, I, <laughs> I repeat um, how, how big of a fan I am of Unreal Engine 4. Still, yeah, still, I think it just looks... So when I'm checking, checking some things, I realize how amazing it already is. Um, yeah, so my background is more in virtual production, not in game development. So that means I, I'm usually like not building like these levels for games or so. 
um, I'm I'm using scenes and um, for example I shot this music video and um, I, I use all the the cinematic to tools of Unreal Engine like sequencer and the cameras and and all this animation stuff. Um, yeah, if you're interested in in learning this because um, it's it's still not that popular. It's it's still a very young thing, like this virtual production thing with Unreal Engine. I have a free eight-part course. You find the link down in the description below, um, where we make um, a first scene. Yeah, you can make your first cinematic scene, like an eight-part tutorial. Is this? You get characters um, from me. You get animations from me. It's not meta humans. I build these characters outside of Unreal Engine. But some um, amazing, some amazing characters. Yeah, you get them for free. You get some animations for free, and you learn how to make a first um, nice sequence within Unreal Engine. So, if you're interested in this, link is down in the description below. I already got some people signing up for this, so thanks so much for joining. Um, always let me know how you like it. What you need more in the comments on, uh, section on my website. And you can also always send me an email. I'm happy to hear from you. Also see your results. Yeah. So let's try this. Can I find this? Um, can, can I find the same scene? Like this one. Let me turn on the camera speed. Um, but, um, well, I have no idea where this is. So this says background one, two, three. Let's press F. So this should it be. Aha, great. Also increase the camera speed a little here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I mean, why does it look so different? But that's that's it, right? That's the scene. So that's the similar size. Let's get closer to this point. Aha. Still building everything. Shadows, materials on the leaves. Interesting, it disappears when I move farther further away. Also the water. Ah, okay, Unreal Engine 4 the same. But still ah, okay so it works what it the changes are similar but it looks so much different so the lighting here you can see all the bright areas and here's just everything dark yeah so all the reflections that lumen does oh wow also here the shadows here on the water yeah Okay, so guys, that's just um, an, if, <laughs> what I said at the beginning, right? Just me running through this level and um, seeing what's different. Of course, it's not a fair comparison, right? But um, it's interesting to see, to get an idea where it goes, I think. Yeah, I think that's it, what it's all about. And of course, having fun and also trying what the computer can do. Yeah, like, hey, this is a crazy level. I have this open in Unreal Engine 4 and 5 at the same time. I think this alone, yeah, thanks to, thanks to my, uh, thing, thanks to you, computer, yeah, that I'm, I'm, I'm really so, um, I have no words for this, what technology is able to do uh, nowadays. Yeah? So it's really incredible. Yeah. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope um, you guys enjoyed it, um, got an idea. Um, I have more of these videos. Um, check them out on my channel. Uh, they are not that crazy, but I have some um, interesting comparison videos. Yeah, probably more interesting than this one. I'm not sure because my computer is really struggling. 
Um, yeah, okay. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and see you next time.